Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today we're going to be talking about ticker symbol TRCH and MMATF. I'm not a financial advisor, so do what you will with this information. Be sure to like and subscribe if you already have. I really appreciate it. We're almost to 900. Looking to get to 1,000 before merger time. I appreciate all of those that have. So tonight we're going to be looking at, it's going to be the first of a little series I'm going to be doing. We're going to be looking at potential buyers of the Oro Grande project based on what land they owned in the Permine Basin and other factors as to why they might be looking to buy this land. So tonight we'll be looking at Exxon. Some of this DD was brought to me by Pat Patrick from Twitter, so I do appreciate that. So Exxon, 1.6 million acres in the Permian Basins mean it can approach the field in a me mega project. One thing to point out is that uh, Exxon did recently, just today, lose two of its board seats to a new small hedge fund that's going to push the crude driller to diversify beyond oil and fight climate change. So as we take a quick look here, what is engine number one? This is the firm who gained two seats and possibly three on the Exxon board. So I think some big changes are coming to Exxon and we'll kind of point to what that could mean in the future and why they might be interested in the torch land. So if we look here, they are a investment firm purpose to build and create long-term value, uh, makes its workers, communities, and the environment. So they're a green investment firm basically they got two possibly seats on the exxon board so it looks like exxon is going to be doing some sort of climate type changes i don't know exactly i'd, I'd have to do more digging but i don't want to make this a basically exxon uh engine number one f video so if we look here these are uh 566 companies holding uh acreage in the permine or permian so this is an old photo as well, but as you can see here, it's getting pretty cluttered in this area. And if we look at Torch's land real quick, we have some in the Permine Basin. To my understanding, some people say that this out here is still the Permine Basin, but from the mats that I've seen, it's just on the outside, but still formed at the same time. Uh, still has the same type of environment as we've covered in past videos. Same, Basically same, same, just outside the general area. And if we look here, people are going to be looking to move outside this area. And another thing that is interesting about this Exxon deal, this Lance Cook we know is a part of the Sage team who we've covered in past videos be sure to check those out geothermal so once again that is a green energy and he does have has provided services for companies outside of sales such as BP Exxon so as you can see here Exxon did uh, he does have pre past experiences with them he is on the torch board so possibly they could be looking at our land per se i will say that i don't think the land is already sold it could be if we could announce that special dividend when they declare it just after the the shareholders meeting on the 11th then i think that would cause an even bigger boom but i just want people to be aware that there's there's a slight chance that we might not see the uh special dividend price so like i said exxon might be a player in the purchasing the shares we know that they're turning green maybe they want to purchase these since we know that most of it is undrilled wells maybe they could drill these wells and do a type of geothermal project with sage that's a stretch of course but you never know uh exxon looking to do more green things i'd have to look on what they're doing and drilling per se and maybe they haven't came out with it exactly but if we know they're going green we know sage is going green as well we know that meta has a deal with sage so that would be pretty funny if exxon ended up buying this land and then ended up using it for geothermal and and used it through sage but that's a stretch that's just me assuming so if we take a look here uh also be sure to leave in the comments some other companies companies you want me to look at i will say tomorrow we're going to be looking at pioneer and some of their land is very close to is in these areas per se and very close to this area so they might be looking to expand in their areas i couldn't find an exxon map so i do apologize for that but they do have uh some major acreages in their permian so i finally got that down i finally get it trick my brain into saying it right so sorry about that but the short interest change these are live updates from today it went up three percent we know these numbers are kind of on a delay they did decrease just a little bit basically that uh, half a million that we've seen in the past utilization went up a skosh but we know the shorts are still here if we look at uh since the short interest went up three percent that definitely proves that they're here if we look at some short shares available down to four hundred and fifty thousand play put it down a little bit farther but then eased up throughout the day if we look at naked short report as of yesterday 53 percent so they're still shorting at 50 percent when they need to and that's the only thing keeping us down at the moment 50 percent on uh shortablestocks.com and then 17 percent uh 
as of today for fintail and then 27 percent as of yesterday so if we kind of double this number up i think tomorrow's average will will be about 34 on shortable stocks and naked short report so that's the only reason why we're not running and no volume once we start seeing some volume and if you look at these level two walls if you watch the live stream we've kind of been going over them oh i do not have that pulled up but i did tweet out a picture we did have a uh 166k buy go check that tweet out is that's pretty pretty good sign it was about three minutes to the close at two dollars and 35 cents so that's always promising to see big buys at the close like i said we'll be looking at other things other type oil companies that might be purchasing this land from us i do think exxon might be a play just because they're uh maybe going green maybe they want to use it for other projects maybe they just want to expand on their per mine assets in general we'll just have to see uh but like i said mma tf will look at their chart just uh, for a sec they're trending more up towards these three dollars so that is good to see i think they will slowly creep over those threes as torch does continue to uptrend if we look at the month one month here we are on an uptrend as i kind of said uh <coughs> we're just missing volume though so once we start getting closer to that june 11th date and as i said earlier in the video that once we declare that dividend there's going to be an ex dividend to my expectation after the dex declaration of it so there's going to be a time for people to buy that buy the shares and still get uh the dividend so that's when i think we're going to see a massive massive run up so don't don't get too stressed out now that we're not running you kind of see other things going pretty green we're just missing volume shorts are definitely hammering us down still at the moment so uh just keep that in mind 50 percent according to naked short report it was probably about in the 30s or 40s today so they're definitely just trying to keep us down me and the honey badger have been in discussions about uh maybe looking at some february numbers that might be institutions buying and then the shorts did all they could to hammer it down and it could lead to even bigger uh short squeeze numbers so i will try to get that video out uh tomorrow and like i said we'll be looking at more companies i will also be going live tomorrow probably around 2 p.m central time so be be sure to check that out be sure to like and subscribe uh almost to 900 looking to get to a thousand before the merger that would be awesome i appreciate all that y'all all y'all that already have and i will see y'all next time